So today we've been driving uh, the Paul Stevens uh, Le Mans Classic, very special uh, car, but now we have Paul Stevens himself. Hello, welcome. Morning. Welcome to, to, to our world and thank you for having us in yours. What I want to do is get uh, a little bit behind Paul Stevens, the person, because you're a car guy, yeah. right? Yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah, be yeah, to have this as your, this is your oh, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you learned to drive at a really young age, right? Yeah, I learned to drive at um, six years of age, actually. How? How? On the family farm in the Land Rover. Nice. But I couldn't see over the steering wheel, so I looked through the steering wheel, slid down. And then you got into how? How how did you go from a Land Rover through the wheel into Porsches? Because you started kind of getting into 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 Porsches quite young as well. Right? Yeah, we had our. Um, I mean, it was, like I said, we had a family farm and. Mm. Uh, uh, used to get an old MOT failure and drive it around the fields and got sort of got quicker and quicker and it's a bit of fun and then I joined a local car club not RAC affiliated but they allowed me to uh, drive in their sprints and uh, things on a disused airfield uh, so I was racing a little mini at uh, nine years of age and then somebody uh, let me have a go in their 911 so I did my first 100 miles an hour in a 911 when I was nine behind the wheel and that's a pretty awesome experience uh, and uh, kind of stuck with me so uh, that was it, really. I think with subconsciously that, that went with me and then um, I decided that uh, I really wanted one of these cars one day. Uh, so I set myself a bit of a goal to try and have one by the time I was 21. Um, and actually ended up sort of buying and selling a few minis, doing them up, then it got into MGs, then it got into TRs. Just sort of built myself up to my first 911. So that's how I actually got my first 911. It was a 911E, uh, which I paid £3,750 for. Um, because I couldn't afford an SC, that was how it was. And then, uh, yeah, it was a bit rusty, it was mechanically not very well, and uh, so learnt an awful lot more about them, having to sort of take it all apart and restore it and put it back together again. I thought I wanted to um, work on these things as an engineer, so I went to college, did my mechanical engineering course, um, came out, uh, went to work for another company, and actually that wasn't quite where I was as a person. The drive was really about creativity and um, and also the, the, the selling of them and seeing the finished product. Uh, so I started my own business in 94, just buying and selling, frankly, uh, mm. and uh, very British stuff as well to start with. So some really quirky stuff like Catrums, Janettas, Marcuses, TVRs, yeah. um, Morgans. That, that is yeah. quirky, that is really yeah, quirky. But, but, but Porsche as well. Yeah. And then that evolved into just a focusing on these because we all love our sports cars and uh, but these things actually work and they're, <laughs> and they're reliable and they're, they're, you know it's great for cus if you're looking after customers you know if you've prepared a 911 and they've gone out you're probably not going to see them again whereas you know with some of the others things have a habit of falling off and going wrong it's just part of the territory really so from a commercial point of view as well it's a, it a conscious decision to specialize on these and then eventually you you started putting your own stamp on them in the millennium, I sort of came up with this idea that uh, the 964 at the time was about 10 years old at the time. And it was re a really unloved 911. I mean, it was, you talk about the 996 today, that was the 964. And they were so cheap. Um, they got oil leaks. Um, and the best one in the world would be 20K and the worst one in the world would probably be 7 or 8K. So they weren't really worth <laughs> restoring to, to a 964 if you sort of mean it. So it got me thinking because people like the old cars and uh, you know the old uh, T's and E's and S's and they come into the showroom and say, oh, I really want one of those. Can I use that for every day? Mm. Not really, no. It's, you know, it's, it's old, it's quirky. You've got to be a, a special mindset really, haven't you, to use an old car every day. So I started thinking about, well, how can we get the 964 to um, you know, look like an earlier car and, uh, and it'd be quite a, you know, it's a good platform, it's got ABS, it's got power steering, and if you must, it's got Tiptronic, it's got four-wheel drive. Um, there's, a, there's a good platform there, and they're a cheap base, and uh, we could turn them into a car. So, talking to people about how you do it, and panels, they said, well, you can't, nobody's ever done that, you can't fit panels, early panels don't fit, etc., etc. nothing fits, in fact, which is pretty true. Uh, so, I have um, some family friends called the Walklets who, um, they uh, were the founders of Janetta. Uh, that's where the Janetta connection comes from. And uh, I went to talk to them and, well, they're used to making cars from nothing. Um, so told them about my concept and um, 
Well, short story, or long story short, they helped me bring it to reality. So we made our own panels, uh, created everything, and uh, hence the first, first car was a retro touring R, which we, um, or lightweight R, sorry, which we launched in 2005 at Brands Hatch. That was our first 964 based car. So I think it's important that they drive properly. Mm. And we try and bring into the cars what we know about 911s and the, the, the whole driving experience of, of that car and, and bringing different, and certainly with the latest uh, club sport, it's all different eras coming in, different things that we know about them, bringing mm. them into a package. Not necessarily all from the, old, uh, from the newer cars, but sometimes from the older cars. So we're really bringing a whole load of ingredients to the table and saying, right, what are we going to do with those? You know, not quite like MasterChef, but... Something. No, not, yeah. not quite, not quite. There's, yeah. there's no angry Australian man. You aren't the only people that make a kind of an ultimate version of a 911. No. So how, you know, how, how do you guys stand apart from everyone? Or do you end up all working together or does it... No, how how, how think... do you see the future? Well, I think like everything else in life, there's a there's a place in the market for everybody. So um, there's you know there's people doing pretty straightforward backdated 911s. Um, there's singer doing very complex, you know, 911s with the DLS. I mean, incredible. And Roof, I mean, Roof's a fantastic engineer. Um, if anything, he's. I mean, I had a Roof SCR years ago, and that kind of uh, was another little thing that sowed a seed with me. You know. You just put a few ingredients in a car, which seems relatively ordinary on the outside, and it just is transformed by what you can do with it. I think we provide sort of honest cars. Uh, we're uh, we're not our products aren't overstated, and you know we've got some people out there that you know it's big wings, it's big wheels, it's big everything. That's not us. We're we're very uh, contained. We're very British, if you like, um, and uh, we're very. <laughs> there we go. Um, time up. So, uh, no, we're very, uh, I like to try and keep things into narrow shell cars. It's where Porsche was originally, you know, mm. delicate steering, um, good, good feedback, um, good power to weight ratio. We're not big turbos, we're not big power. Yeah. It's, it's getting the car on a Sunday morning. It feels like a very well engineered and connected car. You, you feel part of that car. Um, and yet yeah, you could park it up in the car park, uh, at work and, uh, and, and people possibly wouldn't even begin to understand what's going on underneath it. And that's our DNA really. Yeah. Rather than shouting about what's there, we're actually completely the other way.